Hello everybody, I'm Suman Matthews and today we will be discussing the inverse differential operator. This is a graduate mathematics topic and for more videos you can subscribe to my channel MathMadeEasy. This is my channel ID. This is my channel ID. What is an inverse differential operator and why do we need it? So if d equal to d by dx, 1 by d is called the inverse differential operator and it is used to find the particular solution of a linear differential equation. And in this video we learn how to calculate the particular integral for polynomial, hyperbolic, exponential and trigonometric functions. So 1 by dx squared is basically integral of x squared dx, that is x cubed by 3. Now e raised to ax by fd is e raised to ax by fa, if f of a not equal to 0. The same formula holds for e raised to ax plus b. It is also x e raised to ax by f dash a if f dash a not equal to 0. This is if f a equal to 0, this becomes x e raised to ax by f dash a. And if f dash a equal to 0, it's x squared by 2 e raised to ax by f double dash a, provided f double dash a not equal to 0. Again, sin ax by fd squared. Having trigonometric functions, it becomes sin ax by f of minus a squared, where f of minus a squared not equal to 0. Cos ax by fd squared will be cos ax by f of minus a squared, if f of minus a squared not equal to 0. And e raised to ax v by fd, where v can be any function, it becomes e raised to ax v by fd plus a. Again, we need to keep in mind that the cos hyperbolic function is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Sin hyperbolic function is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. Do you want to excel in maths? Believe you can. That is the first step to success. Coming to the problems, solve d2y by dx squared minus 4y equal to cos hyperbolic 2x minus 1 plus 3 raised to x. The homogeneous function is d squared minus 4 into y equal to 0. So the auxiliary equation is m squared minus 4 equal to 0 or m plus 2 into m minus 2 is 0. So the complementary function is c1 e raised to minus 2x plus c2 e raised to 2x. And the particular integral is governed by 1 by d squared minus 4 applied to the hyperbolic function which becomes e raised to 2x minus 1 plus e raised to minus 2x minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by d squared minus 4 applied to 3 raised to x. That is 1 by 2 e raised to 2x minus 1 by d squared minus 4 plus 1 by 2 e raised to minus 2x minus 1 by d squared minus 4. Now I can modify this and write it as e raised to log 3 raised to x to the base e because it is same as 3 raised to x and 1 by d squared minus 4 applied to that. Now if I use the formula e raised to ax by fd is e raised to ax by fa, here f of a is 2, so f of a will give you 0. So we use the formula e raised to ax by fd is x e raised to ax by f dash a, both here and here. So it becomes x by 2 e raised to 2x minus 1 by f dash a will be 2d and this is 1 by 2 e raised to minus 2x minus 1 f dash d will be 2d. Here I can substitute a is 3 raised to x. So it becomes uh, 3 raised to x by a is uh, log 3 because e raised to ax. So it becomes by log 3 the whole squared minus 4. Again substituting we get this is x by 8 e raised to 2x minus 1 minus x by 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8. x by 8 e raised to minus 2x minus 1 plus 3 raised to x by log 3 the whole squared minus 4. So your solution is c1 e raised to minus 2x plus c2 e raised to 2x that is a complementary function plus the particular function which we have just calculated. So practice each formula and problem with me. Coming to the next question, solve d squared minus 2d plus 4 into y is e raised to x cos x. So your auxiliary equation is m squared minus 2m plus 4 equal to 0 using the formula minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac by 2a. The roots are 1 plus or minus i root 3 
So the complementary function is e raised to x, c1 cos root 3x plus c2 sin root 3x and your particular integral will be e raised to x cos x d squared minus 2d plus 4. So this of the form e raised to ax v by fd which is e raised to ax v by fd plus a. Here your a is 1. So this becomes e raised to x cos x by d plus 1 the whole squared minus 2 into d plus 1 plus 4. Simplifying this becomes d squared plus 3. And e raised to x cos ax by fd is e raised to x cos ax by f minus a squared. So replace a by d by minus 1. So it becomes e raised to x cos x by minus 1 plus 3 which becomes e raised to x cos x by 2. So your final answer will be the complementary function plus the particular integral which we have just calculated. So visualize yourself improving your math scores and you will come into the next problem. Solve d3y by dx cube plus d2y by dx squared plus 4dy by dx plus 4y equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. So we write this as d cube plus d squared plus 4d plus 4 into y equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. The auxiliary equation is m cube plus m squared plus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Minus 1 is a root because if I put m as minus 1, you get 0. So using synthetic division, the coefficients here are 1, 1, 4, 4. We write minus 1, we bring down 1. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 into minus 1 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 0. 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 and we get 0. There are three terms here. So we write it as m squared plus 4. So when you factorize, you get m plus 1 into m squared plus 4 equal to 0. So the roots are m equal to minus 1 and plus or minus 2i. So the complementary function will be c1 a raised to minus x plus c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x. So the particular integral will be your expression on the right that is x squared minus 4x minus 6 divided by d cube plus d squared plus 4d plus 4. Now here we have to do hardcore division. So we write x squared minus 4x minus 6 and we write this as 4 plus 4d plus d squared plus d cubed. Now x squared divided by 4 is x squared by 4. So 4 into x squared by 4 is x squared. 4d into x squared by 4 will be 2x. Again d squared into x squared of x squared by 4 will be first take the first order derivative so I get 2x by 4 and again take the derivative that is half. And d cubed will be 0 so we write x squared plus 2x plus 2 subtract here I get minus 6x minus 13 by 2. Now minus 6x by 4 is minus 3 by 2x. Multiplying minus 3 by 2x into 4 is minus 6x. 4d into minus 3 by 2x will be minus 3 by 2 into 4 that is minus 6. Derivative of x is 1. And uh, d squared will give you 0. d cubed of this is 0. Subtracting you get minus half. Minus half divided by 4 is minus 1 by 8. 4 into minus 1 by 8 is minus half. And 4d d squared d cubed of minus 1 by 8 is all 0. So when you subtract you get 0. So your complementary function is the particular integral is x squared by 4 minus 3 by 2x minus 1 by 8. So your final answer will be the complementary function plus the particular integral. I hope this video was useful to you. So what do you do next? If you need more videos of this type, subscribe to my channel or visit my page. Thank you for watching.